The National Super Alliance, NASA, is planning a convention before the end of the month to approve a number of radical proposals. The proposal, as per the roadmap by the Coalition's People's Assembly Organizing Committee, entails a power-sharing arrangement that suggests the creation of a prime minister position as the fallback plan should the presidential elections planned for August fail. Also in their sleeves is the push to have a rotational presidency that will bar Mount Kenya and Rift Valley regions from the seat in the near future to allow other communities chance to lead the country as a way of enhancing cohesion. In the rotational presidency, the NASA committee has envisaged that no community should rule continuously to give equal chances to all of Kenya's more than 40 tribes. Self-determination The first inaugural convention that will bring together People's Assembly representatives and install NASA leader Rayla Odinga as the People's President after his swearing-in on January 30, has also lined up the option of self-determination in their wider plans. While addressing mourners yesterday during the funeral of Lennom Bogam Wambora at Bodoy in Kikambala, Kilifi County, NASA Deputy Leader Kalnzo Musioka said they will not relent until the three-point agenda is actualized. Professor Lenno was Mikuani First Lady Natsi Kovutha's brother. There is no turning back. We must make sure that not again will elections be stolen and people ruled by force. Our coalition is determined to slay the dragon of electoral injustice, said Kalnzo. The People's Assembly Organizing Committee has highlighted the fight for electoral justice, restructuring the state and strengthening and defending devolution as its key agenda. NASA will hold five pending regional assembly meetings across the country ahead of the inaugural convention in Nairobi. The committee is led by David Ndi and includes Judy Sijani, Hamida Kibwana, Mu Takakangu, Otarangwen, Koya Damatolakina and Peter Mathuki. D.I. said their actions are insulated by law. The Constitution leaves citizens free to decide how to exercise sovereignty directly. Our answer to this is the People's Assembly, he said. It is not clear if Rila will unveil his cabinet during the convention. He is, however, expected to roll out his plans as the People's President. The convention will inaugurate the national leadership that will support the people's president in this most solemn of national duties. We may not necessarily want to call it a cabinet, but they will be individuals that will guide the running of the assembly, Dr. Ndi told Sunday Standard. Kenyans will be informed of the dates and venue three to four days to the convention, Ndi said. The convention, he added will lead to presidential elections under new electoral laws by August this year. The committee has lined up meetings in Kisai, Northeastern and Jubilee Party strongholds of Mount Kenya and Rift Valley. The team has already covered Western, Coast, Lower Eastern, and Nyanza. Even as the plans for the convention hit top gear, Sunday Standard has learned that NASA co-principals Mazalia Midavadi and Moses Wetangula have launched a strategy to mitigate the backlash from their strongholds following their no-show at Rayla's swearing-in. The two are using their close lieutenants to convince their supporters that lack of proper consultations led to their absence. At a strategy meeting held in Naivasha and which was chaired by former Kakunga Senator Boni Kalwal, the leaders agreed to take the war to Rayla's doorstep by claiming the ODM leader swore himself in against the wishes of his co-principals who wanted the event postponed. Kalwal led a 10-member team to a retreat in Naivasha to receive the report of the special technical team advising Ford Kenya and Amani National Congress ANC, on the recent events in NASA. The technical team was unknown to the public. Others at the meeting were MPs Sakwa Banyasi. Nambal, and Chris Wamalwa, Kaimanini, ANC Secretary General Barack Muluka, Eric Wafuko and lawyer Eunice Lumila. Kalwal tweeted about the event but deleted the tweet shortly thereafter. The group discussed the controversial swearing in of Rayla in the absence of the other co-principals, raising questions whether there was an agreement among the four leaders. Jubilee sympathizers they question whether Rayla's move to swear himself and was a strategy to paint his co-principals as cowards. But how could cowards have gone to such a length to stand with their friend Rayla right from shelving their ambitions in 2017, 
accepting to support him and standing with him through a period in which they witnessed what seemed to be a takeover at NASA by legal and militant groups. The committee wrote in their report. However, a group of legislators from ANC led by nominated MP Godfrey Asatsi and Kakunga Senator Cleofas Malala, said the group were Jubilee sympathizers out to wreck the party. We know them. They eat with Jubilee at night and lie to our supporters that they are with NASA during the day. Their days are numbered and we will expose them. I dare them to defect to the ruling party and seek fresh mandate, said Asatsi. See.